Cowboys 5H Vernon Bryant Staff Photographer Dallas Cowboys Quarterback Dak Prescott 4 passes to Dallas Cowboys Wide Receiver Des Bryant 88 during warm-ups before a preseason game against the Indianapolis Colts at At Stadium in Arlington on Saturday, August 19, 2017. Vernon Bryant The Dallas Morning News by SportsDayDFW.com At SportsDayDFW Cowboys Hall of Fame Quarterback Troy Aikman joined the Musers on KTCK FM 96.7 AM 1310 The Ticket. Here are some highlights, Doc and Des don't seem to be on the same page so far this season. Why do you think that is Troy Aikman? Well I think there's a lot of factors that go into that. First of all, targets is kind of an interesting figure. I don't completely dismiss it, but sometimes a receiver gets credited with a target when the ball wasnt a catchable ball, or if the quarterback's throwing the ball away. They've got to say someone was targeted, so whoever the closest receiver was. Sometimes it's a bit misleading, but with that being said there's no question that for someone who's had as many opportunities, the ball should be caught more. Will Cowboys smash Green Bay like last October? Why loser of game will make the playoffs? I think that some of that has to do with the defensive backs that he's been facing, some of it has to do with the offensive line. I think it's given up more pressures. It certainly did on Sunday against the Rams. Overall, I think Doc has experienced a little more pressure than what he did a year ago. I don't think Des is a great route runner. I think there's some uncertainty probably within the connection and the chemistry between Doc and Des. I think it's a number of different things, but that should be better, and it needs to be better. I mean, Bryant has to be a force, and for too long he has not consistently been a guy who's been able to go out there and dominate games the way he once did years ago. How do you see the Dallas defense doing against Aaron Rodgers this weekend? Troy Aikman There's no doubt that the Packers' offensive line is beat up. We've covered a lot of Packers games over the years. It just seems like this is a team on both sides of the ball that every year they have a number of significant injuries. Not only with the offensive line this week, but now Ty Montgomery. Last year in the playoff game they were without Jordy Nelson, and they've had a ton of injuries over the years on the defensive side of the ball. It doesn't seem to phase them too much, quite honestly. I think they'll be challenged. I know this, Mike McCarthy does not like giving his tackles help, and if he doesn't give help to Demarcus Lawrence, I think whoever's trying to block HIMS going to have a tough afternoon. He's been amazing, but the secondary for the Cowboys they've given up some things. If you give a guy like Aaron Rodgers any type of space, you turn a guy loose, he's capable of making huge plays as we know. The Packers aren't going to be a team that's just going to go in there and just pound you with the running game. It's all about the passing game and Aaron Rodgers. Even when you get pressure on him, if you don't stay in your lanes and he gets outside the pocket then that's when a lot of their, if not most of their big plays occur. This is a Packers team that's certainly very confident. Playing the Cowboys and the success that they've had against them in recent years. It should be great. I don't expect it to be a whole lot different than the playoff game we had, which was one of the great games that we had all season long. Why Packers game is an early crossroads for the Cowboys, whether Jason Garrett admits it or not. Have you ever seen a quarterback that keeps a defense more on their heels from the second a play ends to the second a ball is snapped like Aaron Rodgers? Troy Aikman he is pretty remarkable. We meet with these quarterbacks every week, and I marvel at everything he knows about the opponent, and not just coverage is. Typically there are certain things a quarterback should know that they have to know going into a game, and there are some things that just really aren't all that important, but he knows everything. I don't know how much is put on him by the coaching staff and how much of it is just him. I know he's a pretty meticulous guy, but he could pretty much tell you the entire defensive roster going into a game and what he's facing. He manages the game as well as anybody that's in the game currently. He knows when to use hard count, he's very effective with it. He also is constantly aware of when defenses are trying to substitute. I'm not even sure why defenses try to substitute in the middle of a series. I can't remember the last Packers game that I did where he did not catch the defense with 12 men on the field. He's extremely accurate, he can put it wherever he wants to on the move or from different launch angles with his arm. He's an amazing guy, and someone I've gotten to know very well over the years and think a lot of. I have a ton of respect for him and how he plays the position.